First tonight, this is what's left after a massive fire burned at a pallet warehouse in the northeastern part of Kansas City. You can see burned pallets and mangled metal. Crews spent the day there putting out hot spots. Well, today we learned that fire started inside a converted shipping container at the warehouse. The exact cause is still under investigation. We do know it took roughly 160 firefighters to battle those flames. And you'll recall three of them were taken to the hospital for heat exhaustion and burns. One was still in the hospital as of this morning, but he was expected to be released today. Anchor Bryant Madrick went back to the site of that fire on Nicholson Avenue to learn what's being done to protect firefighters during large fires like this in the summer heat. Here at Pioneer Pallet, workers are salvaging what's left of Thursday's massive four alarm fire. It destroyed the warehouse and it required at least 165 fighters to put out the flames. But in the process, at least seven firefighters were injured. This is a taxing job. It's, it can be grueling. Uh, it's bound to happen. But injuries on the job are something KCFD's Jimmy Walker says they tried to avoid. He says firefighters are encouraged to drink fluids. There's also training on how to spot signs of heat stress, not just for firefighters, but also their commanders. And it's not always about when you, Brian, feel like you're exhausted. It's me as a chief who says, I look at you and go, no, it's time for you to take a break. And you go, well, I don't want to take a break, but but I'm telling you, you're going to take a break now because it's hot and you've been working for a while. Walker says every firefighter has a personal story of the risk, including him. We had three working fires in one day uh, years ago. I was working at 31st Indiana. Uh, by the time we had our third fire, uh, it was a hot day. Uh, I came outside and just I was done. I was spent. I just could not do anymore. The seven firefighters injured battling Thursday's massive blaze range from heat exhaustion, dehydration, or burns. Walker gave an update on their conditions. I talked to uh, their union rep last night who said everybody was good to go. While those firefighters continue their recovery, an official cause for this fire still not known, but an official tells me that right now this fire does not appear suspicious. In Kansas City, I'm Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.